Hi, kids. Remember us? The Safety Pets. Stick around to learn more about playing safe and staying safe. Wouldn't it be fun if a friend invited you to go sailing? Boy, we need a lot of special things for sailing. Sure do. Hats so we won't get sunburned noses, windbreakers to keep us warm, and sneakers with rubber bottoms so we won't slip if the deck gets wet. Wait, what about the most important thing? You're right, our life jackets. They'll keep us safe if we fall overboard. That's right. It's easy if you just pop on your life jacket. Water's fun, but remember the safety rules. Suppose you're at the beach with your cousin when suddenly a storm moves in. Let's stay here under the umbrella, okay, Sue? No, that's the wrong thing to do, Jenny. We'd better tell Aunt Mary and, and then leave right away. Good job, Sue. Lightning strikes tall things like trees, poles, and beach umbrellas. Or even you. The smartest thing to do is to get off the beach in a thunderstorm. There are lots of things you need to know to be safe around water. Even just a bathtub full of water. I've got my robe, my slippers, a magazine, cologne, bath salts, soap, and my waterproof watch. I even have a radio to listen to. Annie, there's something dangerous in that pile. You shouldn't take a radio in the bathroom with you. It's never safe to use things that use electricity around water. You can sing instead. Thanks for reminding me. Don't plug anything in when you're wet, like hair dryers or curling irons. Dad shouldn't plug in his electric shaver around water either. Water and electricity must stay far apart. You can help your family remember. Wear a life jacket when you're around deep water. Get off the beach or away from the pool if a storm comes up. And never use things that need electricity around water. I had a bad dream. Jason and Patrick are brothers. Jason knows that some things scare little brothers like Patrick because they aren't used to them yet. One night, Jason lay in his warm bed and thought about the fears his brother had had that day. That very evening, Jason and Patrick had gone out into their backyard to watch the stars come out. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. What's that? It's just a mouse. Jason's brother was afraid of the dark. Not Jason. Jason remembered how afraid Patrick was of Butch, the neighbor's big friendly watchdog. He could still see Patrick's face that day when Butch ran up to see them. Look out, Jason! Let's get out of here! It's okay, Patrick. That dog's big, but he's friendly. We play with him all the time. Maybe Patrick was afraid of the big dog behind the fence, but not Jason. He just wants to play. <laughs> Jason remembered how much Butch had liked the balloon. It reminded him of how much Patrick liked the beach ball in the waiting pool. Jason was teaching Patrick to catch the big ball. They were practicing in the pool just that day. Here, catch Patrick. Boy, I'm glad we have a pool to play in on hot days. But I can't swim, Jason. I'll teach you. But I'm afraid to get water in my eyes. Don't worry. When you're as big as me, you won't be afraid. Just think of it as a bath. Baths are fun. That reminded Jason of his bath that night. Jason loved the water. When he took a bath, he always had a good time. He was in charge of all the ships at sea. Hong Kong! Okay, crew, we're on our way to Africa now. It's a rough sea, so we have to watch out for the other boats. <laughs> oh no, a storm! Mayday, mayday, mayday! Woo! -hoo -hoo watch out! <laughs> Hold on, I'll save you! <laughs> Don't worry, I'll rescue you! Hold on! Hold on! Jason? Jason's father appeared in the doorway. He looked very tall. 
like a giant. Stop that splashing. The floor is covered with water. But my steamer is sinking, and my passengers need my help. It's time for you to get out. But I want to rescue my passengers. Come on, get your teddy bear. I'll read you a story. We can clean that up in the morning. When Jason was in bed, his father came into his room and read him a story. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jason. Jason sailed the ocean on a boat called the Argo. Jason could almost see himself as the captain of a big sailboat, heading toward untold adventures. Come on, son. Time for bed. Good night, Jason. I'll see you in the morning. Ah, <sighs> night, Dad. Jason fell asleep and began to dream. Jason felt himself falling into another land. Jason! Jason! Help me! Jason! Jason dreamed his brother was drowning. Jason was the only one who could rescue him. Jason! To reach his brother, Jason first had to go through a dark, scary place. Jason was brave. You don't scare me. I have to help my brother Patrick. Next, he had to walk past a big, scary dog. For Jason, that was easy. Move over, Pooch. I'm going to help my brother Patrick. But Jason wasn't so brave when he saw what was up ahead. A sleeping giant? I hope I can cross this river without waking him. Who dares to enter my cave? Ah, a little boy. Just the right size to grab. I'll get you. No, no, no! The giant's hand came nearer and nearer. Help! Help me! Jason! No, no! Jason woke up. He felt afraid. And he didn't know why. Then he remembered his dream about the giant. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy! Help me, Daddy! Whoa! What's wrong, Jason? I had a bad dream, Dad. It's all right now. I'm here, son. Jason's father put his arms around him. Jason began to feel safe again. Okay now, Jason? Patrick was drowning, Dad. I couldn't help him because of the giant. Well, let's go see if Patrick is okay. They peeked into Patrick's room. Patrick was fast asleep in his bed. It was just a dream. See? Now where's the giant? Maybe in the bathtub. Let's open the door and look. My boats! Just your boats. It was just a dream, wasn't it, Dad? Jason put the passengers back into the steamer and set it on the shelf. There now, you're all safe. We'll go to Africa next time. Then he went back to bed. Jason felt sure that everything in his world would be okay till morning. Was Jason afraid to go to sleep? Not Jason.